One man with the courage of ten. No one but Captain Midnight could withstand the onslaught of Shark's gang. Yet, when he escapes and returns to capture the ringleaders, they set a trap for him. Yes, Ru, now locate that invention. That's a plane, sure. That's all bright as sure as you're born. Now, this is our chance to finish him. Gordon, get that truck and keep him from landing. Great, he won't land on that for you. Come on, we can't watch him. We've got to locate that invention. I haven't got the heart. Well, there ain't much to tell. I just ain't as good as I thought I was. <laughs> no, no, I mean, what did they do? They must have put the pressure on Edwards and he told them the model was here. Listen! Major Steele to cover every known landing field. The radio's out of commission. Those birds... You'll have to fix it. Number six calling S-1. Number six calling S-1. My answer still is and always will be no. Now kill me and get it over with. Well, when you come to the radio, sir, play 27 reporting. Maybe he ain't gonna answer, I hope. S1 answering number six. Come in, number six. We reached Albright's place and knocked off the caretakers. We were searching the place when a plane arrived. We tried to wreck it, but a pancake to a safe landing. Come in, S1. Of course you killed Albright. We never saw Albright. Out of the plane came Captain Midnight, guns blazing, followed by ten men armed to the teeth with machine guns. There was nothing left to do but beat it for home. What are your orders? Set ship down on field 13. Wait there for orders. Am I brainy or am I? I saved our necks. Congratulations. I couldn't have told a better lie myself. <laughs> hey, look, well, we better let Edwards go. Sooner or later, they'll trace him to us. When I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Instead of letting him go, we'll force him to work with us. But he can't take much more. You'll pass out. He has a daughter. Through her, we'll make him act sensibly. And she's guarded day and night. Your lack of confidence in my ability is disappointing. I get some men and meet me at the manor's office. Five oh six. Now hurry. Get ready, Camp. They're coming in. Major Steele is ready. Go ahead, Captain Albright. Model safe, Major. Gang escaped in a plane and headed for Los Angeles. Now here's the description of the plane: a tri-motored bomber, model X ninety two. Now if the plane is located, your men are not to go near it until I arrive. Any work from Edwards? Come in. No trace of him yet. His daughter well guarded. Report here as soon as possible. Taking off at once and bringing model with me. Come in. All right, hurry. Come on, wrap up the model. That house is guarded like a government mint. You'll never get in. To the contrary, the girl will welcome me when I offer her the opportunity to be reunited with her father. Get her on the phone for me. The wire may be tapped. It is, but by our number nine. If you report anything of interest, do as I say. Hello, Miss Edwards. This is Major Steele. 
Oh, hello, Major Steele. How are you? Any news? We've made contact with the men who are holding your father. We need your help in carrying out our plan. Are you game? Of course. I'll do everything I can to help. I'm sending out our ace operator, a Mr. Manners. He'll be there at 7 sharp. Don't answer the phone or contact anyone until he arrives. Can I depend on you? Certainly, Major. I'll do just as you say. Are you sure Dad's all right? He's absolutely secure. Before many hours, you will be with him. Goodbye. See how easy things are when you use your brain? I gotta hand it to you, Chief. That'll do fool anyone. I closed my eyes and I thought old man Steele was in the office. Now, this is the plan. I'm gonna bring her down here. And when she arrives, you men are too. We've covered every landing field within a radius of 10 miles. That plane didn't land at any of them. Well, that means they've got a hidden airport somewhere. Wherever it is, we must find it and destroy their squadron of bombers. Right. Now we'd better phone Miss Edwards. You'll have to stall her somehow about her father. Well, that's a tough job, considering we haven't even got a trace of him. Uh, get me the Edwards home on the phone. I don't know why you're all hit up, Burns. You heard him. Major Steele's orders. Government business. Yeah? Well, just the same, I'm getting to a phone. You stay and cover the place. That man, the driver, he's the one that... Oh, yes, yes, I know. He was one of the gang. But now he's working for me. <laughs> that is the government. He's our content. You understand? Uh, yes. Well, the report is the Edwards wire has been cut, sir. So, no need to worry, huh, Major? My men are reliable. Well. Oh, Burns, I was expecting a call from you. What happened out there? All right, all right. It's too late now. Get back to the post and stay there until you're relieved. Well, what happened? Some elderly man by the name of Manners has left the house with the girl. Says he was acting under my orders. Oh, we're right back where we started again, with the girl in their hands. At least we have the name of the man. Manners. Manners. Seems to me I've heard that someplace. He certainly wouldn't be dumb enough to use his real name. That'd be asking too much. Pardon me, Major. I believe he did give his right name. What? Yes, he's the man I told you about that visited this office. I think I have his card. I'll go get it at once. Yes, sir. Seems too good to be true. Yeah, well, even if it is, don't count on it helping us too much. Here's the card, sir. Carl Manners, attorney at law, patents, finance, 506 finance building. We'll round up some operatives and raid the place. Lieutenant, give the necessary orders. Yes, sir. Oh, wait a minute, Lieutenant. Oh, pardon me, Major, but I believe this is a job for Captain Midnight. If we raid the place in numbers, it may mean the death of the girl. Let me try it. All right, have your own way. But report to me as soon as possible. Right. I wonder what's holding them up. I'm hoping they don't come. I don't believe in it. All right, beat it. They're on the way up. Here we are, safe and sound as I promised. You'll soon be with your father. Come in, Miss Edwards. Sit down. There may be a slight wait. To secure us against interruption. All right, my man, my bargain is completed. Now do your part. Produce Mr. Edwards. It won't be long. What? Hello, number 22 reporting. The girl is here and the papers are ready for delivery. How about shipping Edwards over here? All right, we'll wait. Be right here. Well, what's eating you, lady? You never telephoned. Your son was holding down the hook all the time. I'm getting out of here. Oh, stop, stop! You ain't going anywhere. Let me go! Who said what you're wrong? This man is working for me. I don't believe any of you. I'm leaving. Hold it. We'll stop the argument and take the girl over ourselves. I see. I foolishly walked into a trap. Why, you double-crossing hound, I'll have your life for this. Oh.
man that brought you here. Where did he go? In that closet. He locked the door, but he was trying to help me. I'll believe it when he proves it. Why, he's gone. Certainly. Nice arrangement. Do you still think he's trying to help you? No. Here's the wig he wore. Disguised, eh? That means I missed a big one of the gang. Perhaps their leader. You're disguised, too. Who are you? My identity can wait until I can get you to a safe place. He beat you all as usual. It is useless to proceed further until we definitely dispose of this Captain Midnight. I have a plan that cannot miss. We'll use the plane they're looking for. I'm willing to sacrifice many planes to be rid of this menace. Bang! Radio the men the field 13. I have worked for them. Yes, Master. Martell? Yes, sir. You come with me. I'll use your voice. The rest of you stay here at headquarters. Too bad, Albright. You arrived too late last night to be in on the excitement. <laughs> Captain Midnight arrived in time to save Miss Edwards. But the man we believed to be the leader of the gang got away. Well, I'm sure if he got away from Captain Midnight, I wouldn't have been of any help. If you gentlemen are carrying on this act for my benefit, you're wasting your time. I've known for some time that Captain Midnight and Captain Albright are one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder we fail, Major. Evidently, we're very bad actors. Well, pardon me, sir. A report from Operative 22. Let me have it. Yes, sir. Listen to this. Plane described by Captain Albright, located on field off Danville Pike. Now being serviced by three men. Likely take off soon. Awaiting orders. I'll arrange for planes. Let me go, Major. The boys have my plane waiting. I can be over the field in 15 minutes. Now, if their plane is still there, I'll fly it in or follow it if it takes off. Notify 22 to stay away from the plane. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll take care of Miss Edwards. Right. And uh, don't forget to phone the office. As soon as I have news. Get that thing out of here. Well, did you finish? Yeah, she's loaded for bear. Why don't we take off? We can outrun most any ship. Why sacrifice it? We'll follow Shark's orders. If they work, we'll destroy Captain Midnight like that. That must be him. Well, that's just dandy. Go in and get the Billy Do. Come on, Morton, hurry up. The job's on. All right, now stand by for a getaway, Martell. We'll entice him down. Careful, don't fall with that. We'll be scattered all over the field. Don't worry. like this part of our secret squadron is arriving just in time, Captain. Three of them are making for the plane in a hurry. Secret squadron, my eye. They've spotted us, that's what. Likely get on our tail and blow us out of the sky. What are you laughing about, Icky? My laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold tight, I'm nosing over. Hurry it up, Borkman. He's diving for a landing. Oh, All right, Captain Midnight, you can have our plane. With Ivan Shark's compliment. Let's beat it. Scram, I only gave it five minutes. Too late. Our birds have flown and left their wings behind them. I didn't expect them to wait. It's a break that they left the plane. I'll fly it in. You follow and keep me covered. Well, you heard him, Shorty. Get at them controls.
We'll watch the fireworks. This ship is really fast, Dickie. I can't keep up with her. All you can do is your best. Keep trying. Shock from doing his evil deeds? And what about Edwards? Can this master scientist escape the iron bands of Shock's deadly embrace? See it all in Mistaken Identity, next week's smashing episode of Captain Midnight.